All right, guys, how's it going out there? Rooster here in Tennessee. Got another item coming up for sale here. This one will be on roostercb.com under used and specialty items or special items. This is a uh, tube top wind jammer power modulator. And uh, that's exactly what it is. It's a modulator. Uh, at some point during the video, I'll take the covers off and uh, let everybody see an inside peek of it. Um, here's a look at the top. This one's actually in really good shape. Look, I don't throw my microphone at myself here. Let's see, key it up and show you the lights. Everything functions on it uh, just the way that it should. Pretty dang cool. Uh, I like this thing a lot. I've had this thing sitting here probably going on over a year, maybe two years, and uh, just never have hooked it up to uh, test it out. And lo and behold, it works good. These are rare little units. You don't see a lot of these. You'll actually see more of the. Uh, JB12s and the Black Cat stuff than you do these. I believe the tube or tubes that are in it are a 6BQ5, uh, but we'll verify that here in a second. What I want to do first is show you that the uh, show you how much we're going to be putting into it. It does have a standby mode here, which is pretty cool. You flip it up in mod, it's uh, on. You flip it down and off, it's in standby mode. The amp stays on, but you're not you're not using it. So you actually uh, it's in bypass mode right now. I'm going to use my unit in 66 at 13.5, and I'm hoping that gives us about 25 watts worth of swing going in. Uh, bottom scale, we've got a 100 watt slug in here, and uh, yeah, that's, that's about exactly what it's giving us, about 25 watts or so uh, PEP going into this thing. And that's probably the most I would put into it. Obviously, a little bit less is going to be a little bit better for it. Something like a tram, browning, sonar, something like that is going to work really, really well with this thing. Uh, but what we'll do, we'll flip it up into the mod position and flip my meter back on peak. I don't know why I turned it off. And we'll see what it's doing PEP first. So 1,000 watt slug. Remember, we're putting 25 in. It's maintaining a really low dead key there and uh, swinging looks like about 80, 90 watts PEP. Uh, when I had my 500 watt slug in, it showed about 100 watts PEP. But this one's showing in there between... 80 and a 90 depending on the voice peaks it's doing almost 90 watts PEP so getting with it pretty good uh, average power if you guys want to know what's doing average Ooh, audio. Ooh, audio. 20 watts average and then my radio is doing Ooh, audio. about 7 watts average so it takes the radio from doing 25 PEP to 90 PEP and uh, 7 watts average to 20 watts or so average. Uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, pause the video here and then I'll pop the covers off, give you one last look at the lights. But I will, uh, let's see, if we turn our mic gain down, it still responds to it pretty good, don't it? Doesn't it, I should say. Check one, two, three, audio. Check one, two, three, audio. I'll take the covers off and uh, show you guys the inside look of it and uh, see what it looks like. I've never had the covers off of it, so uh, we'll give it a, a once over here. So I'm going to power it off, pause the video, and uh, pop the covers. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back, guys, and uh, there it is, that 16BQ5. So we're actually pushing it pretty good, um, concerned it's just got one tube in it. If you push it that hard, you'll probably end up replacing a tube uh, <laughs> every year or two. So I would probably step it down. Again, this is the best thing I, I had to test it with, but I would probably step it down to like a 15-watt radio, 18-watt radio, something like that. Again, we're only putting 25 into it, but that is a very small tube, and uh, we're asking kind of a lot of it by how much we're doing. But there's an inside look at the amp, guys. I'll take some pictures of it and uh, get it listed up here on the website. I didn't power it off. Uh, so I guess do as I say, not as I do, because you don't want to be monkeying around in here with these things powered on um they do have enough in there to to hurt you a bit so uh but we'll key it up here one last time let you guys have a nice look at it Let's see if the sideband delay works hello it actually does i'll be darn hello audio uh, so the sideband delay works on it's a fully functioning amp I uh, don't see many of these. Pretty rare unit. And this one is in good shape, too. I mean, I haven't cleaned it or anything, so it'll probably clean up even better. 
That's it guys, Windjammer Power Modulator. Badass little modulator, I like it. Trams, Brownings, old Johnson radios, any of that stuff that doesn't do a lot of power, this might be your ticket right here. And uh, got a little bit more uh, snaz to it than a JB12. You don't see any modulation lights on those JB12s. <laughs> That's it guys, Rooster in Tennessee, roostercb.com. Everybody have a good night, see you bye.